morning everybody, we're uh, back on my local park lake hoping to target the uh, bream and the tench again I did so well last time that I'm back here again it's the middle of April again we're going to be using PVA bags with pellets and sweet corn so let's have a look at the pellets I'm using and the sweet corn and the hook length I'm using before we cast a PVA bag into the swim and hopefully we'll get some more fish and here's the, uh, the pellets I'm using. This is the uh, PVA bag, if anybody really wants to know. Um, I'm using four thirds PVA, which is quite good. Never let me down, you can get them quite cheap. And here are the, uh, the small halibut pellets that I'm using, that I put in my PVA. I buy these in bulk, in 50 kilos, and then that lasts me uh, a season. It's cheaper that way, rather than buying the the one kilo bags but they're a very good bait very oily as soon as you put them in the fish are straight on them so it's well worth having some uh, halibut pellets with you these are six mils yeah and here's me uh, my sweet corn three grains I'm going to put on me uh, my hair rig and fingers crossed that's going to catch me a nice tench or a nice bream so all I have to do now is put them on there and put a stop knot on So here we go, we're in now, both of them on sweet corn because I think the tench and the bream do actually prefer sweet corn, there's a lot of weed coming up now as well in the lake, so that's what I've done, so we'll put both of them on sweet corn and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a few runs, as you, as you can see it's uh, quite dark, it's uh, pitch black, I like to get here bright and early, but yeah hopefully we'll have a few tinkers today. Well, this is what I'm seeing, it's uh, pitch black on the lake, uh, there's not too much going on at the minute, I've had a few line bites, but that's been it at the minute, there's not too much uh, happening, but still there's plenty of time yet, we've probably got about half an hour before first light, but uh, just a few line bites to show for my efforts, so far. Well, we are uh, an hour into the session now, and nothing as yet. It's uh, just starting to get a little bit light now, but uh, just a few line bites and uh, that's been it really. Starting to get a bit windy now too. Well, we've had uh, some more line bites. So we're attracting a few fish into the swim now. I've just cast in another PVA bag full of halibut pellets and a few grains of corn. So hopefully, you can see the sun's just starting to rise now. So fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll have our fish or two within the next half an hour. It's all looking good. So uh, just have to wait and uh, see what happens. Wait for the fish. Yeah, so here's the uh, sweet corn I'm using. It's a tin from Herons, 49 pence. Can't beat that, a good uh, tin of sweet corn. The bream are liking it, and the tench are liking it. So fingers crossed we'll uh, get a few more fish today before the lake gets a bit too weedy. Right, another PVA bag going out. just next to the island yeah we've still only had a few line bites well that's it so we'll just tighten up the line there we go put the swinger on the line there we are, sorted, bit runner on. Just waiting for a fish now. Right, here we are. Baits are in. 
I've seen one or two fish swirl just out there, just near the island. But so far, they're uh, they're eluding me. Over the past three days, it's been lovely. It's been 20 degrees, and today when I come out, it's absolutely freezing. Cold wind. Temperatures lowered by 10 degrees overnight. So I reckon it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me today to try and catch a fish. Hopefully we'll get one. Looking nice though, the lake. Plenty of weed about as well. And birds. I mean, look at these coots here, look. Plenty of movement. Well, I've been there. Uh two hours in now and uh, not a sniff I think this little cold snap has uh, put the fish off but I'll give it a couple of hours yet and if not I'll try tomorrow but it's looking a bit iffy at the minute So yes, that's a, a nice start, isn't it? A lovely early morning tench. Just over three pounds. There we go. Another beautiful early morning tench caught on the uh, sweet corn. So that was a, a result. Yeah, the fantastic, uh, fantastic fish for the tench. Uh, it's a bit windy. We're getting a little bit of cloud cover. That's why the uh, camera's going a bit uh, up and down with the uh, colour variation but uh, yeah beautiful there we go Mr Tench off he goes into the depths of the lake Hello mister. Got a duck after me sweet corn here. Fuck okay, then. Come on. Come this way please. Oh well, I've got a fish. Where is he? Surrounded by weed. Oh yeah. It's not a bad fish either, really. Come on. This is how we treat the tench, get him in the net. It's not a bad fish that one, is it? Yeah. Four pounder. Eh? See its tail then when it came over. It's lovely that big paddle tail though, isn't it? Oh yes. Sorted. <coughs> so there we go. Another beautiful tench from my local park lake. There we go. Another three pounder. Caught on sweet corn on the uh, PVA bags. So uh, not doing uh, too badly, so we've uh, had some fish, there he is, beautiful. Right, let's uh, put it back, we'll put another PVA bag system out there and uh, see if we can get some more tinkers. There we go, 
water's warm. Out you go. Beautiful. Well, the uh, sun's getting bright in the sky now. And this is usually not the best time for tench. But we've had a couple of fish. Um, we're going to give it another half an hour or so and see what happens. So we've still got a bait just over near the island and then we've got a bait just over in the middle. But I have um, I've swapped this one. I've put a piece of uh, floating corn on see uh, if we can entice any more fish because I've been getting a few line bites but uh, that's all we've been getting. There's been no real positive takes at the minute so what I've done is I've put a piece of foam at the bottom a piece of real corn and a piece of foam at the top just to pop it up over the weed see if we can get any more better indications well sadly we've had uh, no more fish but we've had uh, a couple of tench out which was quite nice on sweet corn it's been a bit difficult fishing with the uh, with the weed I've been experimenting, the uh, fish have been moving around but uh, not really taking I don't think. So if you've liked this video please like and subscribe and we shall be doing another one very shortly and I'll see you in the next episode.